Good morning, friends. This is Bishop John Quinn of the Diocese of Winona, and I welcome you to this televised liturgy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We welcome all of you to St. Mary's Hospital Chapel today, and especially those of you who are participating through the media in your homes. The light begins to shine more brightly now when we're into February. And we'll hear of light today, that we are to be the light of the world. So let us prepare ourselves for these sacred mysteries by calling to mind our sins. You have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. You have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. You are the good shepherd, leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Share your bread with the hungry. Shelter the oppressed and the homeless. Clothe the naked when you see them. And do not turn your back to your own. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your wound shall quickly be healed. Your vindication shall go before you, and the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help, and he will say, Here I am. If you remove from your midst oppression, false accusation, and malicious speech, if you bestow your bread to the hungry and satisfy the afflicted, 
Then light shall rise for you in the darkness, and the gloom shall become for you like midday. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today's responsorial psalm is, The just man is a light in darkness to the upright. The just man is a light, light in the darkness to for the upright. the upright. Light shines through the darkness for the upright. He is gracious and merciful and just. Well for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. The, the just man, man is a light, light in, in the darkness, darkness to the upright. the upright. He shall never be moved. The just one shall be an everlasting remembrance. An evil report he shall not fear. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. The, the just, just man, man is a light in the, in the darkness, darkness for to the, the upright. upright. His heart is steadfast. He shall not fear. Lavishly he gives to the poor. His justice shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory. The, the just, just man is, is a light in the, the darkness, darkness for to the upright. upright. Reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. When I came to you, brothers and sisters, proclaiming the mystery of God, I did not come with sublimity of words or of wisdom, for I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. I came to you in weakness and fear and much trembling, and my message and my proclamation were not with persuasive words of wisdom, but with a demonstration of spirit and power, so that your faith might rest not on human wisdom, but on the power of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, you are the salt of the earth, but if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. It is set on a lampstand where it gives light to all in the house. Just so your light must shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. You are the salt of the earth. We think of salt as seasoning, stirred into a recipe. And making the flavor. And those words bring back a song to me from the 50s. And there may only be a few of you, maybe many of you at home, who can remember that song by Dean Martin. It was called, Memories Are Made of This. And one of the lines was, one girl, one boy, some grief, some joy, memories are made of this. Then add the wedding bells, 
One house where lovers dwell, two little kids for the flavor. Stir carefully through the days, see how the flavor stays. These are the dreams you will savor. And you think of stirring, stir carefully through the days. In our Christian faith, our Catholic religion, is meant to be in our whole lives. And if, and for many of us, that means family life. Husband, wife, and children. And just like salt gives flavor, so our Christian life gives meaning to our life. And just like salt can heal, if we have a sore throat, we can gargle with salt water. So our Christian faith can heal the hurts that come up. And just like salt can be used to, to put out fires, so the, uh, the difficulties that come in life, our Christian faith can do that. That's for our homes. But we want to go out, too, and be the salt of the world. St. Paul writes to the Colossians, he says this, conduct yourselves wisely toward outsiders. Make the most of the opportunity. Let your speech be gracious, seasoned with salt, so that you know how you should respond to each one. St. Paul says he didn't come with great wisdom. He came with Jesus and the cross of Jesus. And the end of that song is with his blessings from above, serve generously with love. That's what we count on so that we can make our faith have a difference in our home life and in our community. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us present 
our petitions to the Lord. For God's holy people, that we glorify God by living as the church teaches, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For rulers, civil leaders, and journalists, that they speak and write the truth in all things, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For young people, that they answer God's call to religious vocations and lay service in the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are homeless, hungry, and unemployed, that they find shelter, food, and jobs. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all here present who help the poor, the hungry, and the sick, that they find joy and renewal in their ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, our refuge and our strength and source of all goodness, hear our prayers and grant that we obtain what we ask for in faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, in work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O Lord, our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ our Lord, for out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, he broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. 
For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Good morning. This is Bishop John Quinn of the Diocese of Winona. Thank you for joining us for this Sunday's televised Mass. I hope it has brought you spiritual joy and comfort this day. Our broadcast cannot continue without your support. Please consider sending a donation to TV Mass at Post Office Box 588, Winona, Minnesota 55987.